Okay, what are you doing there? I'm just blowing off the sculpture, giving a little hummer. I want to use that thing on yourself. No. <laughs> as far as my sculptures being displayed in the gallery, Wyland sells uh, the bronzes, and I'm sitting on most of my inventory because I am the best salesman. And after my Huntington Beach project, I'll probably be opening up a gallery. So, what you've seen on this video are basically all the pieces as of today, which is uh, March 9th, 1997. This is a sculpture that was made in 1996 as well. It's called Going Down. It's a Texas red. This is the granite, the very hard granite. This might be as hard as the Huntington Beach project. And let me just let you in on a little information. The next sculpture that I'm going to be doing after the Huntington Beach project is uh, for the Braille Institute. The other night I had a, a vision of, um, I was finishing a sculpture, touching it, and I came fascinated with the idea of touch. And I, next thing you know, I was thinking about blind people. So I'm in negotiations now of uh, getting them to allow me to make one of these marine life sculptures for the visually impaired so that within, when they're down at the ocean, the kids that were blind from birth, and they hear the sound of the ocean, they don't have to wonder what is underneath, for they will have felt this sculpture with eight different marine life characters in it. So it'll bring a broader sensation and experience when they're down at the ocean. And I'm also going to try and do one for SeaWorld and one for Disney and probably a lot more for the visually impaired across the United States. That'd be my way of helping other people in this life and bring a lot of purpose and meaning in my sculpting. So back to this piece. This is called Going Down. The water is made out of Mexican onyx, which is somewhat translucent if you get it thin enough. And it's channel set into the onyx, and there's a little nut and bolt. So it's earthquake proof, and it's also, also easily transported. And again, you get a certificate of authenticity with all these pieces. This is an original, of course, one of a kind. And this piece is going for $5,000. And it's a, an exquisite piece. The tail is very beautiful. The waves. Can you hold it up motion. so I can see the top of it better? Hold it down by your waist. Yeah, just to get the full view. That's uh, beautiful. Spin it a, a little. Yeah shape of that is beautiful okay um no it's okay for now what do you got here bro this is a mother and calf whale tails out of italian bardiglio marble this piece has taken a long time wow is that all one piece this is all one piece is that how it shines up yes It'll shine more than this, and the wave will the waves will have about three different textures to it. The tails will be high polished, of course, the mother and calf whale tails, and the piece was only this big, was square. So that's why it's a little bit tight. The design. Hold it there. Wow. So you can see. The contour shape of the whale's tail. And I guarantee you won't find any of these designs sculpted like this in marble. How come? Because I don't look at anyone else's design and I always keep on pushing myself. I like to make the sculptures difficult as possible. Get it a little wet.
You like, now what were you saying about making them difficult? Well, I push myself design-wise so that when I am more established than I am now, that my work will stand out and there won't be anything for so-called competition. And that's one reason why it's hard for galleries to sell my work, because there's nothing for the people to compare the work to. So I'm the best salesman because I have a lot of the work here and I can explain the, to the people the qualities of stone over bronze. A lot of the European people understand stone, but as far as stone sculpture in America, a lot of people are more familiarized with bronze and bronze does outsell stone 100 to 1, but the challenge of stone is uh, what I enjoy. So that's why I work in stone, and also because of Michelangelo and others like Rodin, they did it, and a lot of American sculptors that sculpt marble do it over in Pietro Santo. Well, the reason why they do it over there is because they can hire Italians to do the work. These sculptures are designed and made here in the United States by me, Sean Di Pasquale McKibben. And I go by Di Pasquale because as my mother's maiden name, we're Italian and Greek, and supposedly it goes back to somewhere along the lines, Michelangelo is in there. I haven't researched that, so, but that's what her grandmother told her. So this piece will be going for about uh, $5,500, and there will be no mold taken from it. So whoever buys it has the only one like yeah, it of its one kind. kind right. No limited edition. It's beautiful. One piece of stone. All right, what do you got? This here is uh, my interpretation of Madame Pelly, the Hawaiian fire goddess, every Hawaiian artist. I lived in Hawaii for 18 years. Does their interpretation, the original was done out of Hawaiian Mila wood, which uh, Moses' staff was made from. The face and the neck will be high polished, and the hair will be patina to red yellow. I've got a piece of lava for it to sit on in a two tier granite base. And this is being done in a limited edition of 50, and it's retailing for $3,600. And uh, Wyland's gallery in Hawaii sold the first one and this one will probably be going over there. It's quite an exquisite piece and like I said the foundries cast my bronzes and then I do all the finishing to keep the integrity of the design where I want it and how it's supposed to be. Now can you custom make pieces for people? Yeah, People come to me Architects come to me, private parties come to me, the private parties want a sculpture or something, the marble shops come to me because I've marketed myself for custom carved marble fireplaces. I can design and carve anything they want if they want me to go from a, a, a design after fabric or they want to combine a certain combination from the Italian or French uh, Louis XIV fireplaces. I can do any combinations. And the marble shop does all the flat work and I do all the the carved parts and it can go from animals to florals to uh, your name etc etc and we do them I can do them in marble or limestone and to whatever size and dimensions that you'd like how about the human body what about can you sculpt the human body yes we've got liberated woman on uh, that you saw on the video, uh -huh. and I also did a Madonna and Child. I did this particular piece, Madonna and Child. I went from this black and white photo. I transferred it onto the marble because they wanted this exactly how it was with carbon paper and then I just read the curves because you can read the curves of a black and white photo better than a color photo because it's either dark or light and where it's dark that's deeper where it's the lightest it's the shallowest so 
I can do extreme. Uh, I can capture uh, any detail in any picture. How did so the I could do bus uh, figures, partial figures, etc., etc. How did your reproduction of this look? Do you have a picture of it? Yes, I do.